so we are in last section of trig on absolute values 1.7 my opinion good way to end chapter one with some pretty easy stuff absolute value inequalities and equations so to do absolute value equations basically all you're doing is taking the equation that you got so here's the first one take the equation you got and you write exactly what you got and you write exactly what you got but with a negative so I subtract 7 on both sides so I got x equals negative 3 subtract 7 on both sides of this one I get x equals negative 11 over here uh, you write down exactly what you got then you write down exactly what you got but you make the number negative or the opposite so minus 9 on both sides you get x equals negative 6 minus 9 on both sides you get x equals negative 12 this problem you gotta get the absolute value all by itself first okay so let's get the absolute value all by itself first to do that I add 2 to both sides so I get the absolute value of x minus 2 equals 9 then I can split it up into x minus 2 equals 9 and x minus 2 equals negative 9 so I add 2 on both sides to get x equals 11 add 2 on both sides to get x equals negative 7 over here is the same I need to get the absolute value by itself so I'm going to subtract a negative 15 so I get negative absolute value of x equals negative 8 divide both sides by a negative 1 to get rid of the negative on the outside so I get the absolute value of x equals 8 so it's absolute value so x equals 8 and x equals negative 8 are your answers when you have greater than you write down exactly what you got right there's exactly what I got then you write down exactly what you got but you flip the sign and you make it negative so I minus 1 on both sides so I get x is greater than 3 I minus 1 on both sides so I get x is less than negative 5 so greater than 3 there's negative 5 so open hole there open hole there everything going that way everything going that way over here I write down exactly what I got and then I can write down exactly what I got but I flip the sign and make it negative if I could have I could have wrote it as a sandwich problem but either way you'll still get the same answer if you add 7 on both sides you get x is less than or equal to 11 if you add 7 on both sides you get x is greater than or equal to 3 so I put a marking it's a sandwich problem because right if I write it from low to high everything greater than 3 but also less than 11 so it's in between 3 and 11 so I shade everything in between 3 and 11 so over here I write down exactly what I got but for some reason everything's going backwards so let's just skip over these problem this one right here anyway alright I write down exactly what I got that's basically what this is saying I write down exactly what I got that's what this is um, but it's less than or equal to and I flip the sign I subtracted 2 so I got 0 I divided by a negative 1 when you divide by a negative 1 it flips the sign you see that so x is greater than or equal to 0 over here I minus 2 to get negative 4 I divided by the negative 1 but that flipped the sign so that's why I know that x is greater than 0 but it's also less than 4 so x so that's why it's in between 0 and 4 over here greater than 6 and that means I get x is greater than negative 1 you flip the sign and you make it negative so this is a negative 7 so x is less than negative 13 so there's negative 13 there's negative 1 x is greater than that and x is less than that so greater than that less than that so everything on the outside um, write what you got without the absolute value sign there it is then you take that make it negative so we did this already add 2 to both sides so you get x equals 7 and x equals negative 3 as your answers and I think we already did this one as well or a problem just like it uh, you gotta get the absolute value alone so I add 5 so I get the absolute value of 2x minus 7 equals 9 so you write down exactly what you got and then you write down exactly what you got with a negative so I add 7 to both sides so I get 2x equals 16 down here and I get 2x equals negative 2 up there divide both sides by 2 so I get x equals 8 and x equals negative 1 so simple equations here just gotta remember the rules is all 
x minus 4 is less than 3, uh, you write down what you got, and you write down what you got. You flip the sign to make it negative. Add 4 to both sides. I get x is less than 7, and x is greater than 1. Um, when you go, remember this is a, an and, so it's like a sandwich problem. So when you write your final answer, it goes from low to high, 1 to 7. So it's in between 1 and 7. And if you don't believe me, you can always graph it. There's 1, there's 7. Everything less than 7 that's also greater than 1, right in between. And to solve this one, you got to get the absolute value alone. So I add 3 to both sides, so I get 2x plus 1, and the absolute value is greater than or equal to 9. So you write down exactly what you got, and you write down exactly what you got, but you flip the sign, and you make it negative. So I would minus 1 on both sides. So... Boom, I get 2x is greater than 8, and 2x is less than or equal to negative 10. Divide both sides by 2, so I'm going to divide both sides, and this one by 2. So I get x is greater than or equal to 4, and x is less than or equal to negative 5. So this is an or because it's a greater than or, you know, equal to there. So, And you can tell as well when you graph it whether it's an and or an or, uh, because there's 4, and it should be a closed hole. They should both be closed holes, by the way, and going that way and that way. So they should both be closed holes. If you have any other questions or concerns, I know I went through this section really fast, but it should be very fast. You've already done this all before. If for some reason you have any questions, please let me know. You've been doing this uh, absolute value since Algebra 1. You did it again in Algebra 2. They're going over it again in Algebra 3 trig. You should know how to do this stuff already, so this should not be difficult for you. If it is... Pause, try the problem out, and see if I went too quick. If I ever go too quick, please pause, try the example out yourself, or you can always rewind and see it more and more. Okay. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to let me know.